Hello everybody and welcome back to Path of Exile. We are continuing the campaign mode as the Shadow Assassin. In the last episode, we defeated the Goddess of the Sun and the Goddess of the Moon in order to move on to Act 9. So here we are on the bridge getting, uh, trying to make our way back to whatever, uh, whatever that encampment was, where the beast was. But uh, yeah, we're just going to continue to fight our way through this. Again, this is uh, this whole week for me is just kind of weird because um, occultist vestments uh, because uh, my days off are all kind of jacked up. So I'm just having to record extra episodes uh, today and tomorrow. You know, even though I already just had a weekend, the, this the weekend I just had was kind of a weird one. So I'm having to uh, do some extra recordings to catch up and put everything back where it is. And then also just the fact that the uh, Sundar Patan map releases tomorrow as of the day of this recording. So. I'm um, trying to do my best to uh, make plenty of room in my schedule for that because that's a very important release for my channel because I've been playing, I've been doing Hunter Call of the Wild content for the last, I don't know, half a year at this point. So I want to try to get in on as much of that as I can. Crap. Nope, don't stop. Don't stop. As much as I'd love to fight all this stuff, there's just, there's not enough space to move around and I don't need to be, I don't need to be, uh... Oh, I want to go back to that. Okay. Let's try to keep moving. All right, I think we made it. Back into Highgate. The dark ember remains nestled deep within the putrid flesh of my dead beast. With many of Highgate's tunnels now collapsed, we must forge another way inside. I have divined one weak point in the beast's flank, an ancient wound wrought by that varlish overreacher, Doriani. The wound was healed shut by a thick membrane, but the right decoction should dissolve the tissue and allow us inside. Of course, for a cordial of such potency, I shall require two ingredients. Boy, this sounds oddly familiar. First, our viscous concoction shall require basilisk acid, <laughs> a princely poison which drips from the caustic heart of the basilisk, and trathin powder, an explosive substance oft used in the mining of virtue gems. With these two bitter harvests, I shall brew something worthy of eroding the men. Farewell. Okay, that works. I am Jun Ortoy of the sun-scorched plains of Vestiri. I am investigating the disappearance of several prominent exiles. I have surreptitiously been observing your movements for some time. The way you slew the monster beneath this mountain tells me you are suitable for the task I must ask of you. Rayclast is lawless, but it is not without justice, and some here are more deserving of death than others. The missing were good people. Capable fighters doing what they could to bring light to a situation mired in darkness. I believe they were taken by a group calling themselves the Immortal Syndicate. And I fear scattered across the plains and mountains are small fortifications. I believe okay, so the I believe this orange races. stuff means it's like game mechanic related things like the so we must be like the uh, incursions and all that stuff. I will meet you there. Okay, yeah, so this is more of the this is more of this extra you can stuff. This blood. Where do you expect us to go, Vanya? We have our whole lives here in Highgate. I don't know. West, perhaps? The Ezemite lands. I don't care. Just somewhere that has unpoisoned water. Oh, uh, Beast Slayer. Good to see you again. Even if you have happened upon us in a rather unruly time. Shush now, sweetie. There's no. Oh, they don't know. I can see on your face you haven't heard. It's Kira. She's gone mad. Absolutely. I don't remember who Kira is. Stolen off with her into the desert. And to make matters worse. The whole of Highgate is in a state of disarray. There's beast blood in the water. Usurpers are eyeing up the throne. And the old gods have risen. If you want my advice, get out of Highgate. Or save us. While you still can. You must have encountered men and women like us before. Relic hunters. <clears throat> Collectors of rare antiquities. Anyway, Vanya and I are the best in the business. And we need your help located. Are we gotta find the storm blade. I'm sure. Okay. Uh put these in our stash. 
put those in our stash. You must be the outsider, the beast killer. I am Irasha, and while our soft-hearted chieftainess has gone wandering, it falls to me to make sure this Akara doesn't suffer for it. I've heard the stories they tell of you, and I know better than to pluck the feathers from a sleeping rock. Yet, for the sake of my people, I ask that you keep your peace while among us. Our customs have to- Oyun is gone for but a few days, and already Tasuni sniffs at the throne like it's a bitch in heat. Ruled by a man. You need only walk amongst the ruins of San to understand that folly. Well, his desires are but wanton lusts while Oyun still lives. One of my scouts saw Kira and her Dekara near the foothills. They had Oyun bound to the back of a roa like a Okay, hunter. so they want us to go find like we could we could listen to the rest of the narration, but realistically, we just need to go find her to save it from what's about to happen here. The nightmares are but whispers now. Yet, like prophets, cowering within crevice and crack. My sister Kira has grown obsessed with the vulture of the wastes, our goddess Garukan. Okay, so he doesn't have a quest for us or anything. Let's uh, walk up to where Oyun was and see if there's anybody else over here that we should be talking to. Does not look like it. I would imagine our entry area is back over here where the other entry was, but it does not look like it. So, um, I'm guessing we need to head into... Uh oh Okay. Um, so, oh, okay. I see where we're... I, I had I had in my head the original layout of this place, but no, we need to head up this way. <clears throat> so we need to find Oyun. We need to find Oyun and save her. Find the storm blade and then the basilisk acid and triton powder. So get our defenses up. Make sure all of our stuff is up. And I um, don't really know what I'm looking for. I do need to take a second to look at the... Oh, ow, 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 that hurt. So I'm, I would imagine green is probably chaos, and I don't really have good resistance to that. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to be either. Oh, we already found ourselves an exit. Oh, let me move, please. I really hate the. I really hate it when my when something stops me from moving. It's super frustrating. Okay, what is this? Supply hoist. Just want to take a second and look at this stuff here. So it does not appear that there is a thing. We need to head down into this area here. Let me move, let me move. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Oh my god, the amount of time it takes me to shift directions is really annoying. Like there's input lag or something sometimes, and it's really at the worst possible times. Okay, divine flags. Not interested in that. We'll take the little ring there. Let's These guys are moving. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 2,400. We're definitely going to do that. Okay. Oop, I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay, seriously. Why am I getting this insane input lag?
still don't even really know what I'm looking for. I'm hoping that all of this is kind of linear, like the ledge and all that stuff in the pre in the previous areas. But uh, I just I don't know. There's just so much going on now. The Vasturi Desert. Okay. So, I don't think anything wants us to go back, right? Okay, so everything is either here or in whatever that is. So hopefully we're going to be able to find our waypoint here pretty soon. I don't have any interest in that. Dude, let me move! Cannot stand movement movement impairing effects really really annoying and frustrating especially when you're on a squishy character that relies on movement for survival that's really frustrating let me move thank you okay well, these dinosaurs it's kind of cool though Defeat the mummies. I don't see any more mummy. Okay, there's there's one. Die already. Die. <clears throat> oh, hi. There we go. Hey, we got the storm blade. Sweet. Uh, Legion gloves, armor, and energy shield. Does not look like there's anything here that's going to be specifically go good for us. Because uh, evasion is our primary thing that I'm looking for. Okay. What else do we have to get done here? So, immortal find and dismantle immortal syndicate fortifications in the desert. Oh, we leveled up. So, what were we trying to get to? I gotta bring up my guide again. Uh, so, we came down here, and there's a curve here, and then it wants us to get down to poisonous fangs, even though it doesn't explicitly tell me that. Claw damage. Well, okay, well, I'm. Oh, well, that's claws. Never mind, I don't need that. Is there a dagger equivalent for that? All right, that's fine. We'll just come down this way so we can get down to the poison damage multiplier. Okay, so... I guess now I'm not overly concerned about the... Oop, that's what we're looking for. At least that's, or at least it's one thing that we're looking for. Hey, and a crafting recipe. I'll take that. Okay. I gotta get better about remembering the stupid uh, whirling blades, because that's... Well, and, and they say that's, that's the thing, though. I know that uh, the obvious answer is, well, whirling blades your way out of it. But the problem is, is that a lot of times there is a crazy lag that's happening. I don't know why. And uh, I'll try... I'll press the button, and then nothing happens. And I'm like... <laughs> and then I panic, and then what am I supposed to do then? <clears throat> okay, something fell down over here that I probably want to get. Hey, there we go. Oh, 
Okay, cool. I mean, it would be nice to have that, but it just doesn't have the slots that I need. All right. The foothills. So, I'm not necessarily worried about that. So we need to get over that way. Okay, so and then either one of these. So let's keep going. It's always nice when we can find the waypoint, like, right away. Oh, and there's a door right away. Do I need anything in this particular area? It does not look like it. So we'll head into here and see what we can find. Okay, so... What are we supposed to find here? Uh, I guess we don't know. It's not going to tell us. It's just telling us that one of them is in... All right. One of them is here. I'm guessing that this is probably going to be the Basilisk area because it seems like... Well, I don't know. Triton pow tri uh, Trithin powder? I don't know. There's no way for me to know. I'll find out when we, when we actually get in here. With any luck, it's just going to be something we pick up off the ground. We'll see a big exclamation point like we do for most of the other quest items. And then we'll be able to pick it up and go to the next area. Okay. those up. I don't, I don't pick up the green ones because I'm not able to store them. Which is kind of an annoying thing, but uh, it is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna... I was gonna go down into the left, but uh, realistically I think we probably need to go up into the right. This seems like the right way to go. Hey, another recipe. Spell damage, rank three. Okay, this feels like the uh, back and forth from the um, the magma area in the uh, other thing. Okay, there we go. I don't always remember to do the dash because I have to have it on my alternate alternate thing now, and that's just weird for me. I try to put my alternate stuff on, and it's also because my I need to change the key that that works with because my control key just sticks really bad too. Oh, let me move. Let me move. I don't know what I'm supposed to find here. Oh, maybe up and maybe to the right there. It's the only thing I can think of at this point. Kind of has to be. Since we've been everywhere else. Or not. Hmm. Did I miss an area and I just didn't catch it? Or is there a boss that I was supposed to fight somewhere and I just haven't seen it? 
It's entirely possible with that me zooming around the map means I missed. Well, yeah, this has got to be the basilisk area. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Thinking that this is probably the Basilisk. That'll work. Okay. Well, that's par for the course for me. <laughs> if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that I tend to get, tend to be in a rush and I miss things like that. So it'd be nice if they had like a like a, a monster filter where important monsters would pop up on the screen with a health bar. If there's something like that, let me know. Or if there's a setting that I'm just not aware of and that, that will do that, please let me know. I didn't see anything pop up and unfortunately health bars don't always pop up when uh, I want them to. Okay, so um, next up we need to find... So she's going to be in the other area, so I'm just going to... Was there a... There's no thing here. So I'm just going to fast travel back so we can turn in the couple of quests that we have. And then um, then we can fast travel back over to the other thing there. Well. Goodbye. Yes, I'm aware. You did it. They found it, Bataris. They found it. Hey, we're going to get a reward. Um, hmm. I guess we'll take the dagger then. Have you ever heard much? Yes. Yes. And then we'll sell off most of this, I think. Can't use it because of the intelligence requirement. I don't need a third divine flask. Get all this put away. Um, we'll head... In the Marraketh Desert, an oasis lies to the east. Its waters shielded from prying eyes by a preternatural storm. The sand will rip the very flesh from your bones, should you be so foolish as to enter into its dark shroud. Yet enter you must. The goddess Shakari hides within that golden blizzard, festering with revenge as she resurrects and rebuilds her ancient army, an army that once threatened to shake the very balance of these lands. Should she be allowed to revitalize her troops, the whole of Marraketh will finally fall under the cruelty of his selfish reign. The storm is impenetrable for now, even to the likes of me, but there must be a way in. These Highgate locals, they have an affinity for the <laughs> desert and harsh weather. Okay. Well, it took some time, but thanks to our Marraketh neighbors... And their ancient traditions... We managed a strain of thaumaturgy to remove the storm from Garukhan's blade. We even bottled it for safekeeping. We'd rather not trust anyone with this sort of power, but perhaps you can use it to clear away that sandstorm? Okay, so this is the thing we need to get in where that storm he was just talking about. Um, okay, I want to run back to our hideout real quick. I did change my hideout at some point. I don't remember if I showed that here, but I have changed it back. Put that in there. And now we can head back over here and try to find Oyun. Oh. Something interesting. Oh. Okay. Nothing I can particularly use right now. But we'll continue our way up the mountainside here and hope that we find the entrance. Oh. Nope. Let me move. Die already. Okay, stealth gloves. I'll pick those up. I'll pick this up, and I probably can't use it for anything. Uh, let's see here. Evasion and regeneration, fire resistance. I'll take a look at all that later. Right now, we're trying to find the entrance to the next area. 
ball thing. I'm aware I can get cool items from there. I've done many of them. I just don't have the... Ooh. I just don't have the patience for it right now. Okay. Uh, this is probably a good sign. So are we in... Of course, she's going to be in the next one. <laughs> okay. Ended abruptly. That's okay, though. We'll continue on. Hopefully this is a tunnel that is very linear. And I don't have to do too many twists and turns to find where we're trying to go. Hey, that works. Hey, that works. the quarry okay so are we in we're in the area where we need to find her and we're almost to the part where we need the trarthen powder um need to find the waypoint for this area though that, that right there hey another um another crafting recipe Let's kill these guys off real quick because we need to go ahead and end our episode here. Hopefully you guys had a lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it'll show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Uh, channel, member, channel members get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click the join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide yes. if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a channel membership, you can always leave YouTube's version of a tip with that uh, thanks button. Direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.